Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a new video. Um, as you can see, this is... This is, my scene's a little bit different now. I do actually have my green screen set up. Um, it's basically just a string stretched from this side all the way to that side. I got some 3M, um, you know, 3M tape to get it, get a, get this hook on this wall. You know those type of 3M tapes that don't damage walls. Uh, I basically got one of those, and I got this, I got this piece of string that you know that basically stretched over, and on top of it is actually the screen tablecloth that I bought in the do dollar store. Um, it's one of those like disposable picnic tablecloths. It was super super cheap. It was a dollar, a dollar twenty five. I can actually show you the the, the behind the scenes over here. It's little. This is literally what it is. It's a, it's a green, it's a green uh, green tablecloth. It's like one of those like picnic tablecloths. So, well, my my camera just glitched for a second. Um, maybe I should turn the green the the the, the green what, what's it called chroma key on and off. It might, it might bug out. But anyways, uh, this is probably the cheapest green screen ever. It was literally, the string was, actually no, the, the tape was like five, the, to buy the hook it was like five dollars, buy the string it was one dollar, to buy the, take, uh, the picnic screen it was another one dollar. So it was it was seven dollars altogether, plus a little bit of tax, so like eight, eight something. Um, We'll say it's a nine dollar, it's a nine dollar green screen, all right? This is a nine dollar green screen that I bought. Um, Say it's it, it's working pretty well. It does look look pretty good. It has a little bit of shadow right here, but I think I can probably fix that if I get another light that like shines this way. Then it'll it should be pretty easy to fix. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll keep it like this for now. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing we're going to be filming a little bit of we're going to be filming a little bit of torture porn. All right, that's that's the purpose of this video. And now, um, if you look at my Nat fives, if you look at the Nat fives that I currently have, um, there are a few Nat fives that I will I am able to raise to Evil Three. One is my Indra, um, two is my Purse. As if you watch my Heroes Festival summons from a few days ago, then you might have seen my Purse. I basically have enough for an Evil Three Purse. Um, then I. The, the last one is my nightmare who um, I've been able to evil 3 for a very very long time so the torture porn that we're gonna be filming today is I'm going to be I'm gonna be feeding my nightmares alright this is this is the most unexpected type of torture porn and you guys would never ever expect this um, so I basically have three water gleams over here with my for my water nightmare that I can raise and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get this water nightmare to evil too. Ooh, this is gonna be expensive. I have a, a million gold saved right here just for this. All right, so that's that's an evil two nightmare. We're gonna go out. We're gonna grab this astrogen, and we're gonna go back it back in. Now, um, you know I I could have. I could have evil three one of my nightmares a long, long time ago, and the reason why I didn't was because I didn't really think they would really help me all that much if I evil three one of them. But now I'm kind of interested in making my arena defense a little bit stronger. So that's 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 what I'm going to do right here. Just make sure make sure you go out and grab your um, grab your gleans every single time, and then we'll. We'll, we'll 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 get this party started. Now, oh, this is now now you might be wondering why why this is why is this torture porn? What are you talking about? You're just making an evil three nat five. Now, um, the type of torture porn that you're about to see right here is is actually not suitable for young audiences. And um, reason why is we're gonna we're gonna be doing this. Now this is this is the most unexpected thing. I'm, I'm gonna be using this level 60 variant water nightmare. I'm gonna feed it into my wood nightmare. We're gonna make this wood nightmare evil three, and I'm gonna be using this one. This is this is the nightmare that I want to evil three. Now that's 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 where the surprise comes, and we're gonna we're gonna do this right here right now, and this is gonna hurt. All right, this is gonna like this is gonna be like uh, someone like you know chopping their own balls off with an axe. Oh, and I did it! I did it! Oh, this is my first ever evil 3 nat 5 that I've ever made 
Evil 3 Nyx. Alright, um... Now, now let me explain myself. Let me explain why I, I decided to Evil 3 my Wood Nightmare instead of the Water one. Um, that is mainly because... He's she's the better she's the better Nat five like she's a better water nightmare water nightmare really isn't all that good and in, in top PvP and I've actually been planning to do this for about like one or two weeks. Um, if you oh this is a hundred you get a hundred and eighty astrogems from making this and then you get three hundred sixty from here. Now I what I currently have on on her is a pugilist set. Um, it's not the best pugilist set because my best pugilist set is actually on someone else. I'm going to be introducing that really, really quick. I don't have enough gold to upgrade this gem to full. Um, I guess we can we can try a few times. Actually, no, no, no. I don't have I don't have enough uh, to upgrade this gem. Um, wait, what is this? Oh yeah, this that was the gem. Now, uh, <laughs> I. <laughs> I thought I lost a gem there. Um, this is, this nightmare, like the wood nightmare, is actually the strongest nightmare because for arena defense, it's actually even better than the water nightmare because she can actually morale boost, and then um, the morale boost will make it so her second skill she can spam her second skill even more. And then with a pugilist set, it means that she's going to be stunning nonstop. She's also going to be, um, you know, a lot of people do actually ignore her in arena defense. And I actually been planning to do this for quite a few weeks. Um, ever since I, ever since I was I uh, like started uh, putting together my pugilist set, I've been planning to do this for for quite a few weeks. And if you can see right here, like the the last week's winner, like last week's rank one arena, is actually using a variant wood nightmare as leader in his arena defense. So I I, I thought this was really interesting as well um, because I think I think great minds actually do think alike, you know. So. We're gonna test her out, um, but you know, unfortunately, we don't really have any strong opponents over here. So we're gonna just uh, the oh wait wait there was actually one other thing I forgot to show you guys. Um, I I have two pugilist set that I put together. One is on that wood nightmare, and the other monster I'm going to be introducing is my third dark sea star. Um, my third dark sea star currently has my has my stronger pugilist set. I'm gonna have to turn this to to grade. All right, just just look at these stats. Look at this, look at this disgusting amount of like, I don't even know what this is anymore. Basically, she is on crit rate double defense. Uh, I got I have a crit rate gem here with twenty four percent resist, and then another sixteen percent resist, thirteen percent resist gem here, and then this one um, basically only has crit rate. But I think I do have a. A gem that can potentially replace this one and that is right here now I was actually afraid to upgrade this gem because it came with three substats and a spawn recovery and I got it to plus 12 but I was too scared to get it to plus six I need I kind of need someone to hold my hand while I upgrade this gem like it's I think Tina's gonna Tina's gonna cuck me too hard um, we're gonna but we're gonna try a few upgrades and see see what happens to this gem all right please 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 hold my hand hold my hand please while I do this Please. It lagged. It gave me resist. Mm. <laughs> oh man. Oof. 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 I'm sweating here. Oh man. Oh man. This is not. This is, this is pretty scary. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded that other gem to plus 15 if I was going to replace it with this one. I mean, this one already has 15% resist. See if, it, see if we can roll into it again. But I think I'm going to run out of gold before then. Alright, it's not upgrading. We're, not, we're gonna. This is going to be have to be to be continued, alright? We're going to have to do this. We're going to have to upgrade this gem together tomorrow. I'm sorry to cuck you guys like this, but I'm, I'm out of gold after evil 3 that wood nightmare. Or I literally don't have enough gold anymore. Um, but yeah, I have this Dark Sea Star with a... Uh, basically, she has 90% crit and 40% resist on a Pugilist set. Um, crit rate double defense. So, I was planning to throw these two onto my arena defense. Now, the now I wanted to try some, some things out. Um, 
basically, I was, I was thinking of using Resist Lead, actually, because my other monsters don't really have too much resistance, so there's really nothing I can do. I can actually throw in the um, Nightmare for the Resist Lead, and then I can go with my, my Sea Star, um, who's over here. And then to make sure like they don't actually kill my Sea Star too, like they don't they don't try to try to um, you know burst her down too much. I want to actually put in someone that's at, that's that might be more threatening. Um, and I was thinking of putting a light unit, a light unit that can basically um, provide some sort of threat. Now this is this light Nike I have over here. Um, she doesn't have any resistance, but she has she has a siphon set. So basically, if you ignore her. For like one or two turns, she's she's gonna get a full bar, and it's gonna be super annoying. Like she's she's gonna, she's gonna start spamming her skills like mad. But I think that actually might not work too well. I was thinking of um, I was thinking of putting her out front and then hiding this other light Nike. This one's on a protection set and actually has like forty something percent resist from three of her gems. Um, she has a sixteen percent resist gem here, a twenty two percent resist and another 17% resist gem here. So, so she actually has pretty pretty high resist for a light monster. I was thinking of putting her here in order to, um, you know, so she can actually target the dark monsters if they're running a dark AO, because most people run dark arena offenses. So I was thinking she, she could be there to kind of counter them. The last unit I kind of was thinking of was either to put in this light Nike or to put in a light wild thing. Um, it's a lot of light wild thing gems currently needs maxing out but I do have a 16 the basically what I'm planning to do with this wild thing is she I don't have much resist on her but what I'm planning to do is just make her as tanky as possible so I threw in as much defense substats as I can find on all of her gems or like um, you know for this defense gem HP and defense substats basically I want to make her like this giant giant meat tank to make her as as hard to uh, it's hard to kill as possible, so she can she can be really annoying. Like if you ignore her, if you try to stun her, it's fine. I don't care. You basically waste one of your um, CCs or or anything like that. But if you if you try to kill her, then she's just gonna you know like tank through your damage or something like that. That's that's kind of what I was thinking. If you were trying to like nuke her down with a dark unit, so I was thinking of putting her as my my last unit, and then to make this uh, this this new defense or something like that. But yeah, with the resist lead, everyone's gonna have some a decent re resist. We can actually see how it how actually might play out um, by actually using them on offense. So I'm gonna put in my dark sea star. I'm gonna put in uh, put in this light Nike, and then and then I think the last you know is my dark cupid, right? Yeah, obviously, you need to put in the, put in the dark cupid for for uh because he he's just super annoying. If you ignore him, he gets his shield up. You you basically you have another win condition, like you know. It, once you get your shield up, there's a very, very high chance that you basically just completely straight out win the fight. Um, so this is actually something I wanted to test out. I'm going to be farming a lot of gold, and then I'm going to be upgrading all their gems to, to, to max with that gold. I don't think the wild thing actually is that good. Her gems probably need, need to be something better. I think resist is actually way too low. I could also put her on a conviction set, but that would that would uh I would need to like ungen a few units in order to do that. All right, let's just let's go with this. Holy shit, that pugilist stun! Oh wait, um, I also I also decided to gem my nightmare with triple HP instead of one slot defense. The main reason is because she actually won't be taking too much damage anyways. Well, she, she, uh, in, in most cases, people won't focus her down in the arena because she's, she's relatively tanking compared to the, the other units, you know, so, um, in most cases, people do tend to, tend to ignore her most of the time. This way, um, you know, if she actually does get her active up, she's going to be healing even more with that extra HP gem instead of the defense gem, and she's going to be basically just healing, you know, all units to, to max HP. So I was thinking um, the triple HP actually me might be better than the triple defense. If you kill her first, if you try to kill her first, it doesn't even matter anyways because um, I have so so many other win conditions because I have two other aggressors that actually provide some sort of threat. So if you leave them alone, they're gonna also be um, you know doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to try to do a double AOE here. I'll do my use my shortcut keys. See how many we stun. 
Well, we actually killed one, but we stunned, stunned one of the other ones. Oh, if my other light Nike had a better, better set of uh, siphon gems, it would be amazing. Damn, she's gonna be a beast. Holy shit! That pugilist spamming. Damn it, we have nothing. We we got this guy that has like four level forties. Okay, that wall thing needs to be something better. Plus, I need to upgrade one of her gems to max. How much HP does she have? Only 82k, but but she is a defense type, so she has like 4,500 defense. Um, that was a little bit from sub stats as well. So she's she's really tanky. Like this is way past the um, optimal defense range. So I basically stacked HP. I think if I put one slot defense, it actually might be tankier because of how much defense she has. But I think with three slot HP, I think I can. This can go up a little bit higher. Like 8% extra um, would be maybe like two two three k extra HP. And then that would basically provide a quite a quite a big heal, like about about uh you know like 3.5k, um no 35 35k, 35k to like all allies, which will pretty much max heal a lot of these guys, I think. Besides the Cupid, because Cupid's like HP based, but um the the C Star and the Nike are also defense based. So it, it'll basically max heal these two. Yeah, just it'll just like completely max heal these two if they, they ever get something off. I think maybe I should stack one more aggressor as the third slot instead of the the wall thing. It actually might be might be stronger because I do have some pretty nice gems on uh, on the mihos and stuff. That dark sea star is only temporary, but once I get my dark john up, oh, oh you're gonna it's gonna be some sick stuff. All right, I have no idea. I think I think we should just burst burst this one down. I just want to see how much it stuns actually with pugilist or how annoying it is. Dang it, didn't stun. All right, that stunned. This is so OP. She got a she got her bar full in like two turns because of like lucky regeneration, and then she can just do this. Everyone's max health, and then like one of your units. If if you're stunning like if you're pugilist AOEing like four units, some someone's gonna get stunned. Like at least one guy's gonna get stunned. Dang it, they didn't get stunned. Maybe this will stun. Actually, no, that, that actually just straight out killed them. Alright, this looks like a strong team, because everything else has threat as well. Like, even the Cupid has threat. The Cupid does damage, and at the same time, if you, um, if you ignore him, he's going to get his shield up. And once he gets his shield up, it's just, it's, it's, it's the worst news ever. It's like, it's not just bad news, it's, it's GG from that point, basically. All right, I think I think Walfang needs better gems if I want to make this work. I was thinking like, cause my dark my my John, I can actually um, take off this set and put it on my dark John, and she's also really really tanky, so I can gem her with like one slot defense. So she actually provides some sort of threat as well with it with the crit rate. She's going to provide quite a lot of threat, and then um, and then I'll have. But I need to make her evil three first, so she she can be morale boosting instead of the C star because C star on on Pugilist is not that strong. I basically put this Nike here in order to deter the dark units from hitting her. Um, but even if you hit her, my you know my night light unit is going to do more damage to you. So I basically put some. I had to put something that was uh, more of a threat than her in order to to basically make her fit this slot. I was thinking if I could if I could uh, replace her with my Dark John, I can keep this Cupid here, and then it, instead I'll put like another morale boost monster on this slot. Um, something like. Light succubus or something like that, and then I can I can leave her in this slot, and then as the hidden, I was I was thinking of like putting another light monster, but I'm not sure who. Maybe I'll just put this dark light Victoria as the hidden, um, and then that'll be super annoying. That'll be like the most cancerous shit ever. 
I think for now I'll remove her and then I'll put in some um put in, put in one of my dark mihos. I'll put the crit rate one in. Alright, that that should be this should be a pretty good defense, I think. Alright, I'm excited. That was that was amazing. Um I'm gonna be farming some gold because I was short some gold to max out all their gems. Um well not all their gems, but at least the the uh, the nightmare gems, and then we'll upgrade that other pugilist gem tomorrow. And if that gem actually turns out better, I can put that on my C star, and she would have like, she would have. Um, I think if I replace her defense gem with that one right now, it's already a fifteen percent extra, so she would already have fifty five percent resist plus twenty four, which would be seventy nine percent resist. So if I can get like one more roll on that resist gem, I can get a max resist dark C star with like ninety. Well, actually, wait, no, she won't have ninety percent crit. I'll need one roll into crit, one roll into uh, resist in order to make it perfect. It's gonna be like the sickest dark C star in the world. Um, but yeah, that is that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I th this this was pretty fun. It was a really big moment for me. It was my first ever um, Evil Three Nat Five. I didn't. I really didn't think I would. I would ever <laughs> reach this point when I first started playing. I thought like Evil Three Nat Fives were, were um, you know, only the super super whales were able to to ever reach that point of the game. Um, but I, I actually made it, and I'm really really happy. I'm really, yeah. No no regrets about feeding away my water nightmare. Um, the wood one is definitely the best wood nightmare master race. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.